The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. It can boost your immune system, stop headaches, and it can even help you live longer. But this isn't some magic pill. I'm talking about sex! Yeah, baby! Now you are talking! <laughs> yeah, if people weren't paying attention, now, now they are. So, attention. not one, not two, three surprising tips for better sex starting tonight. The first tip... Mm. You have their attention. Grab some tissue. Not what you think. Not for that. <laughs> <laughs> but blow your nose before foreplay. According to new research, blowing your nose could bring you one step closer to mind-blowing sex. How, you may ask? Apparently, a clogged nose prevents you from receiving those important smells and pheromones that are essential to the big O. It's, and it's true. Mm -hmm. Pheromones are so important, and our sense of smell olf olfactory system is probably the oldest sense that we have going back to not just primitive man, but lower animals, too. It's all about, it's all about the scent, and pheromones yeah. are super powerful. You know, and part of... And, <laughs> Hey, I'm going to follow your instructions to a T. I want to be ready. <laughs> but, and you know that part of, part of getting sexually excited, you may experience some nasal congestion. So you want to perform yeah. at your best. So give but it a, a, yeah. give it, give it a little sex. blow, yeah. But I tell you what, there are probably some women at home thinking, in the, thinking to themselves, like, has my nose been stuffy for the past 30 years? <laughs> like, <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Probably not, but just a thought. But it is super important, like the, the pheromones mm -hmm. and plus other things as well, because you think about it and you smell this certain scent or and all this other stuff, and you kind of think about your significant other. Or if you had an ex that you really liked, then you say, oh, he wore, he wore this cologne. And then you meet somebody else, and maybe you don't like them quite as much, and you try to give them that cologne and be like, here, put this on. But sometimes <laughs> you're like, eh, it doesn't smell the same on you. It's different. Well, and, and other certain scents, for example, I love lavender. I mean, lavender oh. is very soothing and stimulating, and yeah. why not give I've it never a once smelled lavender and gotten all hot and bothered. That's me. Well, so yeah, I'm, everyone's got their own, own certain hotels, scent. Hotels, they, hotel rooms will put it in the sheets and stuff. You'll have that scent. I think it's an added little... I, can I make a comment about scents? So this is just me. I don't know how everyone else feels, but... I like natural scents. So in other words, if someone is wearing too much perfume or too much deodorant or too much what? I can see this guy right now. He, he goes like this. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's, not That's all I need. Is that wrong? <laughs> oh, is that wrong? baby. Well, no, there's, and it's true. The, the old factory bulb, which can get your limbic system firing, yep. you know, and men in particular, that thing lights up, you're ready to rock and roll. Well, and, your biggest and, and best sex organ is right between your ears, right? It's 99% mental and the rest is up to you. Do you know, <laughs> yeah. do you know that in, in uh, one study, women who had the strongest sense of smell had the best orgasms? So, yeah. maybe a little, you know, a little saline, blow your nose Clear and you're ready to roll.